Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with my Harlequin project video for this week. So for those of you who might be new to my channel, I'm going to give a very brief expl explanation at the beginning of this. I have shelves upon shelves upon shelves of category romance slash Harlequin books. Originally I was, you know, kind of, um, collecting like any category of romance I could get my hands on. So going back to the old love sweat books and kismet books and things like that. And I've now decided, no, that's just too much. Those are a lot harder to find as well. If I come across them and they're by an author I really like, like Jill Chavez used to write for the love sweat line, I'll pick those up just to have. But in general, I'm sticking to Harlequin, Mills and Boone. So essentially, like I said, I have tons of shelves of these books. I collect them and I love them. And of course, I want to read them as well. So with this project, every week I pick three more books to read off of my shelves. So they are physical books that I do own. So this is great kind of in a twofold way. One, like I just said, it picks the next books for me to read. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to read these three books like next week. Um, they're just going to be the next ones that are going to go on my shelf treat. So there's a bookshelf I have over here, over here that you guys can't see um, on the other side of this hutch. And it is um, filled, it's, it's a five, it's a five level bookshelf, like a five shelf bookshelf. And the bottom four shelves are taken up by category romance or Harlequin books. The top shelf is empty and I have got my e-readers up there and yes, plural, my e-readers up there. And I also have these books. So as I pick the next ones, I add them and I don't like, oh, I'm going to read, I, I read them in the order that I picked them out of. So it's kind of fun that way. And I really do enjoy it. And second fold, this is great because I'm kind of showing you guys books that you may not be aware of, you may not have ever heard of before. So in a way, it's kind of me being able to do a very, very, very small bookshelf tour every week. <laughs> At least that's the way that I think about it. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a lifelong challenge. You know, I'll be long gone from booktube and I'll still be doing this every week, you know, like picking some books just for myself. I just won't be filming any videos about it. Um, that's long, long, long in the future. I hope to be on booktube for a good long time. As long as you guys continue to watch, I shall continue to be here. So anyway, let's get into the three books that I randomly picked for this week. Um, so if anyone's curious on how I randomly picked them, because right now my shelves are a mess, as you can see, that shelf is completely empty. So I'm like cataloging and moving and you're going to see these shelves slowly empty and then move as I catalog stuff on Goodreads. So Goodreads has a function that is called random. So when you're sorting your books, you can sort it individual shelves. So like if you have a shelf called Net Galley arcs. You can go into that shelf. You can put all the books that you have from Net Galley, like, you know, list them on there. And then there's the, you can uh, sort it by date added, by date read, by date, you know, by page count, by author name, by title. You also have an option to sort random. So I have a shelf on there called Unread Harlequin Shelf Books. I also have one called Unread Category Books. So in other words, the category romance books that I have or Harlequins as I I use the term interchangeably. 99% of my collection is Harlequin. I was starting to collect like Kismet and Love Swept and stuff like that. And I decided very quickly not to, unless it's like an author that I really know, like Jill Chavez wrote for Love Swept. So I'll pick up some of her books, but it just, it's too much. Just keeping my collection to just Harlequin, Mills and Boone is going to be enough. But anyway, I call it category unread and it's a shelf. And I called it Category Unread because even once I'm done cataloging these shelves, I have a lot of stuff as well on Kindle and on Kobo that I've bought digitally that I'm going to add. So I eventually down the line, you're going to see, you could see potentially both digital and physical books in these videos. So this explanation was far too long and should not have been this long. Let's get into the books, my friends. So yeah, so I sort that shelf rant by random. It's, that's where I was going with this. I digressed far too much. Um, so I sort that shelf rant by random and then I pick the first book and then I hit refresh on the page and hit the next top book and that's how I pick the three books. So the first one for this week, we have The Reunion by Jana De Leon. So a lot of you might be familiar with this author if you're cozy mystery readers because she is very well known for writing the Miss Fortune series, M-I-S-S -S Fortune series, which is set in Louisiana. It's a cozy mystery series and people absolutely love it. I have never read it. I know her because she wrote for Intrigue way back in the day. So this is from October of 2013. 
October of 2013, and it is number 1452. So this is the third book in the mystery, what is it called? Sorry, bear with. The Mystery Parish Family Inheritance Series. Now, you're seeing on here, it says two novels for the price of one. So this is a chunky monkey. I have not decided if I'm going to read both these books or not. If I do read both of these books, I'm counting them as two, two separate books on Goodreads. <laughs> because they were published a year apart from each other originally. So the other book in here is called The Secret of Cyprene Bayou, also by Jana De Leon, of course. And this was published by itself in 2012. The cover, I'll put the original cover up here. I would like to get my hands on this original edition as well. I'm pretty sure The Reunion was only published as this bind up. I don't think you can buy this book separately. I don't even think you can get it separately as an ebook. I think it only came this way. Um, so yeah, it's, this isn't like it's one of the two in one books that I like to buy. This is literally the only way that you can buy this book, The Reunion, because it's numbered on the side as a intrigue from way back then with the number and the month and all that other good stuff. So yeah. So let me read the back of this for you. Uh, Bodyguard to an Heiress is Tyler D uh, Dunham's Idea of Hell. The steely, sexy ex-marine has heard and dismissed the gossip about the haunted old Lebeau Le 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 mansion and its cursed heiresses. Now the middle sibling, headstrong Jolie, has arrived to, to comply with her mother's will and reunite with her long-lost sisters. Now I'm going to have that song Jolene in my head. <laughs> Jolene. Okay. Um, but no sooner does she move into the house than Jolie, it's Jolie, not Jolene, um, falls prey to terrifying threats and mysterious visions. Tyler, though he's sworn off femme fatales, can't deny his feelings for the Creole beauty, nor can he let passion distract him because falling for Jolie could be a fatal mistake for both of them. So she really does, with her intrigues, these are not just mysteries. These tend to be like on the spookier side, the more... I don't want to use the term supernatural because they're not supernatural, but you're definitely getting more of the things that go bump in the night feeling to them, um, that there's a little bit more going on than, than what meets the eye. So yeah, so that is the first one. Uh, the second book, guys, this one was really exciting that I pulled this one off my shelf. It's one I cataloged very recently, but it's one of my older ones. Um, we have Riley's Woman by Janet, uh, Janet Daly. So this is an old Harlequin Presents novel, and this is... Um, uh, Janet Daly's Americana book number 28. So these are not necessarily, it's a series, but it's not a series. So you can buy these separately. They have had several different editions made of them. Um, like if you look this book up on um, Kindle, like to buy it for the Kindle, it will have a completely different cover. It won't denote that it was ever published as a presents novel for Harlequin. And it's, like I said, it's number uh, 28 in the Americana series. So essentially she wrote a series of 50 books, each one set in a different state. That's what the Americana series is. And yeah, so this is uh, Harlequin Presents novel 231, 231. So this is an oldie but a goodie. And it is from April 1978, 11 months before I was born. <laughs> this came out. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Leah was reluctant to leave the mountainside where their plane had crashed for the hostile desert below. We could die out there, she argued. But Riley was part Indian, and she discovered that her strong, resourceful companion could survive in primitive conditions with relatively little hardship. Perhaps this was his attraction to her, this and the intimacy of their isolated situation. But would their return to civilization, as he predicted, diminish the special bond between them? So I feel like already just reading the back of this, this one might be problematic. <laughs> this one may be problematic. Now, to my understanding, I think this one takes place in Nevada. Um, but I'm not absolutely certain. Um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated when I do read it. Um, but like, I'm pretty sure like when I was looking it up, it said Nevada. So there's that one. And last but not least, we have a Harlequin super romance novel. This is Better Than Gold by Mary Brady. This is the first book in the Legend of Bailey's Cove series. Really, really cute cover on this one. Um, so this is number 1,888 in the super romance line. Publication date of November 2013. So very similar to the, uh, entry one. So it says, Mia Parker's Restaurant in Progress is the best shot Bailey's Cove 
has at survival. That is, until a 200-year-old skeleton is unearthed on site. It doesn't help that the investigator, sexy guarded anthrop anthropologist Daniel McCary, instantly charms her to distraction. And in rumors that the remains belong to a pirate um, and that his treasure might be buried nearby, Mia's trapped in the mystery that jeopardizes everything. Despite the risks, Danielle can't resist offering to help Mia, nor can he fight the attraction that reels him in. And working together, they may find treasure better than any other. Oh my gosh. See, so I love the super romance novels. These, these were great because sometimes you just got like a great contemporary romance story. Other times you get like a fun kind of mystery element to them. And I loved them so much. So pirates, skeletons buried. Oh gosh, what's not to love about that? So yeah, this one also you can get as an ebook. All three of them I believe you can find as ebooks. So in case you are curious to read them yourself. Sorry, excuse me. So um, yeah, so there is my Harlequin Project books for this coming week. Like I said, uh, I might not get to them in the coming week, but they will be next on my list to get to. Um, or they will, they will go on the shelf to be gotten to at some point. <laughs> Watch my vlogs, my friends, to, to stay tuned to see when I get these read. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you read any of these. Are you a fan of Jana de Leon? And did you know that she wrote for the Intrigue Line? And if you did not, are you going to pick up her books and try them out? I highly recommend that you do. I need to try her Misfortune series. I have not read her Cozy series. So for those of you who have not tried this, try her Intrigue and I will in turn try her Cozy Mystery series. And we're all reading something new, which would be fantastic. Anyway, guys, till my next video, take care and happy reading. Thanks all so much for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.